can prosper you, can put you on the right track today, can give you life and life more abundantly, praise God. The Bible says it's the thief. We know who the thief is. It's the devil, the enemy, Satan. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The Bible says it, but Jesus came to, to give us life and life more abundantly, and that he did. You know what? And it said also said that Jesus destroyed the works of the devil, destroyed his works. Praise God. So when we ask Jesus into our heart, accept him as our Savior, praise God. I want you to know the devil, the, de, the, de, the works of the devil are destroyed, are destroyed, praise God. If you will receive it, if you will know who you are in Christ, if you will exercise the authority that he's given to you as a child of God, you can have success over the flesh, over the devil, and over the world. Hallelujah, praise God. It'll have no hold on you. Because you're abiding in Jesus and he's abiding in you. Praise God. St. John 15 and 7. Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will. Praise God. And it'll be done unto you. Ask what you will. If he says his words abide in you. Because you'll know what to ask. And you'll know what to take authority over. Praise God. Death has no more hold on a child of God. Death has no hold on you. If you're a child of God, if, if you feel like you're at the end of this age, at the end of your age, and that you're just about ready to depart this world, I want to tell you something. If you'll put your trust in Jesus, death won't have any hold on you. You can live this world and, and you cannot even feel the sting of death. Praise God. Mm. That's, that's, a, that's a word for somebody. You can leave this world and not even feel the sting of death if you put your trust in him, if you'll believe in him. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord gave this brother a vision, and he, he died. This brother died that day, and he saw 1,500 people that had died the same day that he died. He come back to tell it. And 50 of those people made it in. 50 out of 1,500 people. 50 of those people made it into heaven. Guess where everybody else went? Yep. Are you saved today? Today's the perfect day to get to know Jesus. Ask him into your heart. I'd like to ask my husband to come and bring forth the word of God. And he'll preach you the word. And the word of God will build you up. And give you God's inheritance. Hallelujah. The Word of God will sustain you. It'll put you over and see you through any time, day or night. Any time. You know, when all the world is asleep. As we know. Two or three o'clock in the morning. Four or five o'clock in the morning. The Holy Spirit doesn't slumber or sleep. The Bible says. He's readily present when you call. When you say, Oh God. Help me. He's right there. If he's your Lord, he's right there. He's a present help in trouble, the Bible says. I'd like to introduce to you Brother Kenneth Gross. All right. It's good to be here this morning. Say hello and God bless to everybody that's tuned in and <clears throat> reviewing. Thank you for being there. And we're going to share some word with you this morning. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we'll do our best. <laughs> Amen. Well, this is a beautiful day the Lord has made. The Bible says we'll rejoice and be glad in it, and we have every reason to do it. So thank God today. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning for this Word of God. We thank you for the precious Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, because we depend on him and we depend on you, and we thank you for it. Help us never to depend on ourselves and never think that we're enough. We're not. And we thank you for it. So, Lord, you be glorified today and you be lifted up. Thank you for drawing all people to you. Thank you for opening up eyes. 
words going to people that will that can receive it and will hear it and need it. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You know what they need? Those that don't know you, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. Thank you today that they'll be they'll hear from you today in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you for it. Thank you for dealing with them as you dealt with us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your kindness. And you're never giving up on us. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, thank you that you're not like some of us act from time to time. You'll never give up on us and you'll never quit loving us. Never, never, never. Thank you, Father. So your will be done this morning. We ask it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of your word. And everybody said amen. All right. Let's uh, got your Bibles. Let's turn them over to uh, the book of Acts.